the cracked pots. A long, long time ago, somewhere in the north of China, lived a washerwoman called Chang Chang. Chang Chang washed all the clothes and all the linen for the family who lived in the big house on top of the hill over there. But there was no hot and cold running water in those days. So to get the water to do the washing, she had to go down the hill, fill her pots from the river full of water, and then go back up the hill. The two pots she used for this were made herself. One was red and one was blue. They were both painted with beautiful flowers. She loved those pots. She felt they almost had a spirit of their own. Every morning you could see Chang Chan walking with the pots across her shoulder, firstly down the mountain to fill them up and then up the mountain she trudged. One day she noticed her blue pot had a small crack in it. Oh, pot, don't break, she said. I don't want to throw you away. Because she loved those pots and she didn't want to throw them away. The days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months. Chang Chan got older and wiser and that crack in the pot got a little longer and a little wider. Chang Chang noticed it and said, Oh, pot, don't break. I don't want to throw you away because she loved those pots. The days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months, the months turned into years. Chang Chang got a little older, she got a little wiser. But that crack in the pot got a little longer and a little wider. And the blue pot, every time it drank from the river and filled its belly, there was less and less water when it got to the top of the hill. When Chang Chang noticed this, she said to the blue pot, Oh, blue pot, don't break. I don't want to throw you away. And the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months and the months turned into years and Chang Chang got a little older and a little wiser and the crack in the pot got a little longer and a little wider. Every time now that the pot tried to fill its belly from the river, when it got to the top of the mountain, there was less and less water. Oh, don't break, said Chang Chang to the pot. I don't want to throw you away because she loved those pots. But the pot was sad. The pot wasn't doing its job properly. It knew that it couldn't keep itself full when it got to the top of the hill. One night it said to the red pot, tomorrow I'm going to tell Chang Chang to throw me away. Oh, stop being going on, said the red pot, because there's nothing worse than a moaning pot. But the next morning as Chang Chang trudged up the hill, she heard a voice. Throw me away, I'm no good. She looked around, but she couldn't see anyone, so she carried on walking. Throw me away, I'm no good. Again, she looked around, but there was no one there, so she kept going. Throw me away, I'm no good. It's your blue pot. Throw me away. She put the pots down. She was happy, sad. Happy because she always knew those pots had a spirit, and now she was proved right. Sad that the pot wanted to be thrown away. Look around you, little pot, she said. What do you see? The pot looked around and on one side of the path, on the right, were all sorts of different colours, reds and blues and greens and oranges and yellows. And on the other side, it was just grass and stone and rubble. I knew about that crack a long time ago, said Chang Chang. So I sprinkled seeds all up the mountainside. The leak in your pot well, you've helped to water those seeds, to help them grow. And now when I walk up the hill, there's a lovely smell and a lovely sight. Thank you. I'll never throw you away. And with that, the blue pot realised that it may not be doing the role that it set out to do, but it was doing another one just as important. <laughs>